Hi guys, it's Jessica from Crafting Stampin.blogspot.com, and I'm doing another face-to-face -face video. Um, don't mad at me, I'm probably a mess. I just got home from work, but I stopped off at Michael's to take advantage of a little sale they're having, and I decided I was going to treat myself and splurge on some things. And plus I have some things from this week that I did not show you guys that I got, so I wanted to do a little haul and show you. So um, the first thing actually I want to show you is, remember I said I did a, a K and company or um, order. Well, one of the things that was on back order finally came in and it's the little punch outs. And they're really cute. Like there's a lot of them. It says it's 31 pieces, but I don't know. Part of me thinks it's a lot more than that. Whoops, I keep down that wrong. There's a lot of really cute things in here. So I'm really excited to open them and take a look at them. So that's one thing. And then that was it. And then everything else is going to be Michael's. So I got these little guys in the dollar in the dollar bin, but they were 50 cents actually when I got them. This was uh, last week. The sale was still on. They still had the tags. So I got four of them. They were only 50 cents. So I got one in orange, pink, blue, and purple. And then I got tonight. I went back and got this because... My Michaels finally did it. It's the twine, the 12, what is it, 24 rolls? Yeah, 24 rolls of the twine because during the holidays I used up like all my red, I used up all my black, and this has got like a ton of green and blue and looks like sky blue, dark blue, orange, pink, red. I got a lot of them. And it was $14.99, but I used my 40% off coupon, so I was rather excited about that. I got $6 off, so go me. And then I got, this might seem a little lame, but I got a little T-square. And this is, I'm going to thank, I think her name is like Corinne's Creations or something. I always see her using it in her videos, and this so makes sense. And I'm, I'm really mad that I didn't get it. I mean, I took art and architecture and all in high school, and I used to use a T-square all the time. And I always said I would live and die by these things, and then I grew up and forgot about them. So now I'm going to start using them again. And then they had... They must have just done their reset of even all the dollar, like the dollar bin stuff. And they had these little packages, which are super cute. These were a dollar. I got it in, it's like a brown and a black. They're really cute. There's some like Rick Rack in there, which I like. And then the little ruler, the ruler ribbon. Super cute. And then this I got for one of my girls at work, one of my tellers. She stayed tonight. Um, for me um i was done work already and she stayed and dealt with the problem so i wouldn't have to go all the way back to work because i don't live close to my job and she does um she makes jewelry so i got this for her i'm not into jewelry and i don't know much about it but it's like a let a let be case with removable pockets and then it's got that on there where like you can measure it out i just think she would appreciate that so llama if you ever watch my videos this was for you sweetie so that has to go over there and now, you people are going to think I'm nuts, and I say it all the time, that I have no business at all buying any more paper. And I don't know if you know that Michaels has a gigantic sale right now on all their paper pads, and they're all 40% uh, off, so they're $11. So I got a bunch of paper. But this is it. You're going to hear me say I am done with paper. I'm not buying any more because I'm going to have to show you all the paper pads that I have. Cause you're gonna think I'm ridiculous and I'm getting more, but um, these are like all the new recollection ones. I got this one's called Awesome Boy. It's really cute. Look at the little guy. I love that, the little bathroom guy. Um, and the reason why I got this is because I have my awesome little guy, my little bub, and then I have two nephews now who I adore, and I picture myself making a lot of gifts with this for them so oh wait and here's one more little well we're on the paper thing but this was another dollar bin um, Mary Engelbright has been my favorite artist since I can remember from high school I loved her everything I always had all types of stuff from her notebooks I have recipe books calendars and they have little 12 sheets of six by six paper and this was in the I think this was a dollar fifty in the dollar fifty bin so I had to get it just because I love her so okay so I got the awesome boy 12 by 12 pack and then I figured well what if I ever get a niece oops I went out of focus there what if I ever get a niece and I don't have an awesome girl or something so I got the fabulous girl paper pack which is super cute and there's another little bathroom girl on here so I got that pack 
And then I got, I don't know, I don't think I showed you this one. This, okay, these two were just from, why do I keep going out of focus? Hello. Um, I don't remember if I, what is going on here? Hello, can you zoom in? There we go. I don't know if I had shown this on video, but I had wanted this today, tomorrow, forever pack. And at one time, Michaels was only selling it in eight and a half by 11. And now they sell it in 12 by 12. And I had to get that. But this was also on the um, 11.99 sale. No, it wasn't. This was, oh my gosh, hello, can we stop? This was also um, on the 11.99. Oh my God. Hello. What's doing that? That's freaking me out. Um, this was, um, I think I used a 50% off from Joann's at Michael's to get that. Um, and then the other day I went because I knew they were doing another paper reset yesterday, which was Thursday, and I got this other book. So I have the one knockoff Amy Tangerine book, now I got the other knockoff one. And it's really, really cute. There's a ton of cute paper in here. I'm afraid to go fast now because I'm going to go all out of focus, but. So I got another one, so I'll put that with my smash stuff. And then the other thing I went back for last Sunday, um, I got the other Heidi Swap pack. The other 12 by 12 pack. Yay! The No Limits one. So I have that. Everybody's seen that, I think so. And then this one was the talk of Facebook on well, one of the Smash groups. Um, this Comic Hero one, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. It's like all like lightning bolts and like the pow, boom, the word bubbles, kaboom, kaboom. Um, the entire pack is awesome. And I called like four different Michaels to get this. Um, see, I even had them hold it. <laughs> but uh, look, even this page, I love it. Show you. See, I'm going to cut them out and use them in my book, actually, these pages. Um, and then this other one I got, the Sunday afternoon pack which this was another one I had to go and stalk them as they were doing the paper reset because I went last Sunday and wanted it and I couldn't find it. Um, so yeah, I stalked away yesterday. And I got this pack. And this pack is adorable. Wait, do you see it? It reminds me of the, um, this is the die cuts with a view Sunday afternoon. It reminds me of the Neapolitan collection one from Michael's that I got like two weeks ago when I saw them do the first reset. But this pack is great. Look at the clouds. Look at that page. I love it. Oh, do a little banners. Where is the other page? Look at the crossword puzzle page. I love that. And then this page. That's my favorite. I love all these pages that they put in the front because all I'm going to do with these front pages, I'm not going to use them to mat on or anything. I'm going to cut them out and use them. So that's that. And then this one, I had to put. I'm going to have to open this easily, carefully because. <gasps> where did they go? I already cut out, as you can see, a bunch of them, and I don't know where they disappeared to. They must have fallen out. Oh, no. Cut out a bunch of them, too. Darn. Maybe they're in my car. I don't know. I'll have to see. But I got this one. Oops. This one, too, which is called the Snapshot Stack. And it's got all types of good stuff, like on the front, you can see. Love this. These, like, I'm going to cut these out. Oops, wait, hold on. There we go, them. <laughs> and put stuff in them. So, that is officially enough of the 12 by 12 pads for me, but these were the ones I wanted to have before the sale ended because I won't pay full price for them. Uh, I don't pay full price for anything. But this yay store is awesome. So that's the end of my video. Oh, wait, no, you know what I want to do? I want to show you my craft room real quick. How many minutes have I been doing? Okay, 8.55. I still have 95 minutes, but obviously it's not going to be like that. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you my craft room and you're going to see a little crafty mess right at this moment because um, it's not so bad. I've, I've been trying like really hard to clean up as I go now um, as opposed to just piling, 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 piling. So let me get out of the way here and let me show you. Okay, let's turn this bad boy around. Okay, so let's pretend that we're just walking in. So this is my crafty area. Can I zoom out a little? Oops, no, let's not zoom in. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. So this is my bookshelf that holds all my embellishments. And it is, sorry about the light in the corner. Up there are all my, well, that's rolls of ribbon that are seasonal is what I call them, like St. Patty's Day, Valentine's, Christmas, all that. They're all my seasonal ribbons because I won't use them all the time. I have a box of buttons and a box of flowers. And then... I call this my color shelf. 
So, like my Stampin' Pastels are in the one little brown box. Um, let's see. What's down there? Oh, extra stamp pads. Um, they're my Close to My Heart stamp pads because I never got anything to hold them. My stickles are in there. I don't know why that says twine. I guess I put my twine in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, when I reorganize on Sunday. The bottom box is on my twine. And then that's my Crafty Deal, my washi tape dispenser. And all my color shines and sprays are in there. And I have them in a clear bin so that way I can see and just grab uh, my glitter. All my Stampin' Up! markers are in there. And I have them organized by my the color um, collections. And then more Stampin' Up! stuff. I have my Stampin' Pastels and my Stampin' Pencils, I think they were called or something. And then my Sharpie markers up there. And then my Copics, a few Copics that I have. And then that's a jar of extra ribbon. Like if I get, um, like when we had our housewarming party, I got a slew of the purple ribbon from Bed Bath & Beyond, which I love. Um, that's my very lame card stand because I took them all down to move because it kept toppling over and I was getting mad that my cards were getting damaged. So I have to put them back up. But um, then that's where my ribbon goes and I have it by color. So like I tried to do color of the rainbow and then neutrals in the other one. And over here is like, okay, that's all my adhesive, which is disgusting. I don't know why I keep buying adhesive. Like anything, like my glues, my glossy accents, like I don't know if you can see that there's even a tub back there. Um, and then that entire thing is filled with adhesives right in, why do I keep zooming on? Right in here, everything, like my tape gun stuff, um, like I just got a, another six pack in the mail the other day too. Um, that's my sponges and stuff, my sponge daubers, my sponges, and my little embossing bin, all my embossing, um, little tubs and the little, um, tray. More, oh my god, more adhesives, see? I'm, I'm obsessed with it. Uh, chipboard albums, and that's the close to my heart, like chi like chipboard albums, I guess you could say, and like other other close to my heart stuff to decorate. My miscellaneous tools, like my crocodile and my um, my pu my um, corner punches from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, that's all my Brad's outlets and rivets, which I bought another little clear tote like this to put some of them in. Um, and then I got this was another little spur box that I got the other day to put all my little wooden shapes in so I can see what they are. Um, let's see. And then here's where we start the paper. So this is my eight and a half by 11 trying to organize, oops, you can't even see that, trying to organize by color, which really didn't happen because it's in, um, these are like my extra packs, I guess you could say. And then this is my Stampin' Up! paper because I keep this separate just because it was like way more expensive. Like I even save every single scrap of Stampin' Up! paper. But I've, I don't know if you can see. I have all the color families in here. Once again, they're organized by the family. And then here's another whole bin of 8 half by 11 paper. I took this thing actually when I bought the one pack. And then another thing of 8 half by 11 paper. They're like all my neutral colors. My whites, my creams, my blacks, my craft, my browns. So that's all that. And then down there is like my miscellaneous like embellishment, not embellishment tools, I guess you could say, like all my wood stuff, um, paint brushes. And I think that's really it. And then here's more paper. This is my six by six paper pads, which um, you can't even see. It doesn't even do it justice. I'd have to pull that out one day. Um, it's all filled and it's like random themes, like just actual pattern paper. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Like it's not holiday. And then in this tote, I don't know if you can even see down there, it's all holiday six by six pads and my Stampin' Up! six by six pads. And then down here is more like tools and stuff, not rivets or eyelets or anything like these things, um, Stampin' Up! tools. Um, I don't know, like little wood, other little wood shapes, which I could probably move up into that other box. And then this is all my Factor Fiction stuff that I just bought, and my Heidi Swap stuff. Um, and then <laughs> here is all my 12 by 12 pads, and these are organized by holiday, and they're all in alphabetical order. So like baby, or it's not like holiday, it's like a specific thing. So like baby is in the front, Christmas, um... 
Halloween is back here. Thanksgiving. Um, wedding is back there too. And love. That's all that. And then this is all my 12 by 12. That's just like a pattern. And they're organized by, um, by like makers. So like Heidi Swap, Die Cuts with a View. Um, we are memory keepers, all that. And then over here, oh, this is another little crafty deal. I forgot. These were what, 14 cents? 14 cents, and it's like cor corrugated craft board. I got them in the little other aisle. Oh, another one of these is all paper, too. This is 12 by 12, like plain solid paper in there. And then in these two bins, I organized my, like, you know, like embellishments and stuff. Um, like stickers, I guess you could say, like scrapbook stickers, and they're all organized by theme. Um, this is where I take my pictures at, by the way. I have a little white thing hanging, and then it's propped up. And then this is all my find it all stuff. Random craft stuff that I use for like wreaths and stuff. My Xyron, my circle cutter, and like that's more lighting tools for my pictures. Um, sewing machine stuff, so easy stuff, um, so ribbon stuff, and my, um, what board is that? That's the, uh, Jesus, what is that? Scoring board. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. Um, fabric. The one on the left is all Stampin' Up! fabric, and then that's other fa fabric remnants. And then my letter press, and then that's my zetter cutter, which I barely use, and I spent an arm and a leg on that thing. And my coffee machine. And then over here is my laminator back there. A little fountain that I have yet to set up from Christmas. Little things I made. Um, all my Cricut cartridges and the, <laughs> don't think I'm crazy, but the used dryer lint sheets, which I used. Um, stamp, uh, Tammy White from Stampin' Up! did something at Christmas time to show like making glitter on it to make it look like a snowy scene. And I love the idea and I figured I'm going to do it again. So every time I do <laughs> I stick it up there. Um, these are all my Cricut cartridges that are for sale. Well, not all of them. A lot of them. 25 of these in these three things were bought. So I still have other ones. i got to update that. And then down here are my acrylic stamps. Um, all close to my heart on this side and all my Stampin' Up! on this side. And they're all organized. Um, alphabetical order for Stampin' Up! Um, they, they close to my heart are like A, B, C, and numbers. So they're all organized that way. Down here is my smash bin. Oh, I left out a drawer. Uh-oh. Hold on. This drawer, I can't even pull it out. Yes, I can. These are all my, um, my embossing folders and anything that I would use with my Big Shot, which... I don't even know where my Big Shot is. Oh, my Big Shot was over there. I didn't show you. It's over there. You can see it now. And then down there is, like, all envelopes and stuff to mail out things. Um... My Cricut Expression, which if I when I do still use my Cricut, that's when I use. I have the Expression too, and it's horrible. I would say don't waste your money on it. My printer, my Cami, hello doll, my Gypsy, my Cricut Mini that I actually just sold, and my laptop. Don't mind the can of Coke, and my Imagine underneath <laughs> a bunch of stuff. And we don't have a linen closet, so the towels go in here in just a big box. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here is my little work area. Oh, and this is what I have on my stamps. Um, the other stamps that aren't like, that like are too thin that I was afraid would get lost if I stuck them in the, the, um, the trays. Like I have my Jada Blossom ones hanging. Um, like my We Are Memory Keepers. I have my Peach Keen, Pink by Design. I have all them hanging on there. And then the ones that I used recently, I haven't had time to rehang up uh, my creative time. They're up here sitting, waiting. And then I usually just keep my embossing gun on the top. My hot glue gun. And then this is like my go-to all, all the time tools. Um, they're all over. This is a disaster. Um, a little pad. This is usually where I would set up my camera. These are just random cutouts actually that I have to finish gluing down and stuff. My Stampin' Up! inks. Um, other glues and my stamp and mist and stuff. And then that's like random stuff. 
I don't know, just randomness. And then I usually keep this handy. This is what I keep the glues that I use most often in. And my cutter. And that's really it. That is the extent of my craft room. So there's a haul and a craft room tour all in one. Um, oh yeah, my closet is like all my scrapbooks and stuff from our, you know, little business, our design business that are in there. These are like, um, challenges that I like to follow, like challenge blogs, like, uh, just different things that I have. My little buddy when he was in kindergarten. Um, and my picture from my bub. So yeah, that's it. That is my crafty space. So that's a long enough video, and it still keeps going in and out of focus. I don't get it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my blog. Make sure you follow my Craft and Stamp and Facebook page. I'll put a link down there. Um, and I guess that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to catch Craft and Stampin'. Bye.